Hello people, and welcome back to part 42 of Ilos, our modded city Skylines build. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Thanks so much for all support across the live stream, and what a wonderful addition we made into our downtown over here. A huge fan of this little pedestrianised space where we also brought in one of the new metro stations with some pink lighting. And I also extended the pedestrian bridge down into the waterfront. Uh, which is just fabulous because you can see all the way down to the Sky Harbour from here. You see the planes taxiing back and forth. There we go. There's a big one. <laughs> it's very excited. Huge lover of this aesthetic. Everyone uh, really happy with all the downtown additions. And indeed some uh, adorable new planter spaces. And uh, lots of walkability. This is the best thing ever as well. Look at that. There we go. <laughs> Walking through the little alleyway on the uni building. Very pleased with it. So thank you for all support. However, in today's episode, it is time to build another rural town. It's been a long time since we've been out of the Margrid frames and the downtown projects. And we have a little road out here from the Ohe Casino Casino Reserve. And then also a rail line that is coming out of the desert, uh, which just snaps off of our uh, main sort of intercity uh, rail system over here. So, we're going to be working uh, with some real life inspiration today. So let's head over to Google Earth and find out exactly what's going to be happening. And welcome to Williams, Arizona, everyone. So this is a little rural town at the foot of the Bill Williams Mountain. You can kind of get an impression as to where we are in the state here. Phoenix is out here. So we're a little bit more toward the mountains uh, north of the valley in Williams. Uh, now, we're not going to be taking full inspiration from Williams today. You know, it's not a direct recreation. Uh, because it's a little bit too big for what I want to happen in Ilos, but there's definitely some ideas that can be taken uh, from this sort of design, uh, including the train station here. Okay, we have a railroad that flows right through the heart of the town. And uh, we have a very simple uh, little low density suburban grid pattern, okay, and that bleeds up into the mountains, uh, where we actually find two reservoirs up here as well, okay? So a simple dam system, really easy to replicate in cities, some terraforming here as well. Uh, there's baseball fields, there's some car parking, there's a couple of high schools in here, and indeed uh, some sort of old uh, touristic Main Street action. So we've got a lot of ideas as to what we can do with this. It should be quite a fun one. And indeed, we can use some of the new uniques from the uh, Seaside Resort stuff. This is going to work very nicely in this sort of area. But otherwise, Williams is going to serve as a wonderful point of inspiration for us here. Uh, there's also a point I would like to make note about uh, the foliage in this part of Arizona is as we move up into the mountains, we move into very thick evergreens, very conifer looking trees, right? We're losing the cactuses here. I'm sure there is some within the town of Williams, uh, but for right now, we're only really interested in the pines and the conifers that are happening here. You can sort of get a sense of the forest or the mountains. So some new foliage to be playing with. Should be very fun. Lots of car parking, gas stations, etc. That should be quite a nice idea to introduce into Ilos. But otherwise, let's have some fun with a rural town in City Skylines. Okay, so the first thing I'd like to get established today is some road frames and entrances into the rural bit of the map here. So of course we have the rail line, uh, and we also have this road here. So, this road is supposedly straight, but if you look down the lateral line, you can see all the little bends in the pavement. It's a little bit Sort of wonky bonky, isn't it? So let's go ahead and change this. Uh, I'm also thinking that probably a elevated or bridged um, dirt road might actually be quite appropriate for the rail crossing here. It's a little bit, I don't know, wild west, isn't it? But we are in the west and this is in the wild, so I guess if there's an appropriate place for the wild west theme, it would be here. So I think we'll go for that. We will actually maintain that. That road and then I think we're going to switch into the new yeah I think we will come down into this new four lane road uh, that came with the expansion update so yeah we'll go for this and then I really do just want this to sort of run for a little bit of distance here might end up upgrading this into perhaps a sort of national high-speed country road eventually but we'll just get the base frame for right now Let's go ahead and get that cut onto a road guideline with a curve tool. So this is what I want, you know, we're going to do some IMT fencing along this side here. Get some nice deserty cactusy overgrowth around it. And then we do have that sort of long straight run road through the desert out to the rural town, which is quite an important little vibe, I think, for what I want to happen in the build. 
So that's going to be sort of one way in and out of the town. Now with this railroad, I want it to sort of run straight through the middle. And then I'm actually going to meander this uh, through this area. And then if we come off with anarchy here and just make all the way through. Let's turn the collision back on there. So we're going to have this come over here. We're going to come into an elevated section. Hopefully it's not too much of a ball lake to get across the river. It shouldn't be. That should do us. And then we'll come back down to earth. Uh, let's come back off with collision. And then really would just like to eye up at one of the rural little content creator stations that we were introduced to. Possibly about here. We're going to use the same station over in the town as well today. It's going to be the most appropriate, isn't it? I do need to actually switch them out for the North American Rail ones, but we'll do that in a second. Tremendous. So now it's got a little old school train station. God, this asset works so nicely in Isles. <laughs> That's so good. Very happy with that. Love building rurally, and a desert rural theme is something to uh, enjoy, I think. Cool. Okay, so we can now serve uh, this old town uh, with rail, and then it's going to come right through the desert. Uh, it's going to stop back off at Williams before it heads back into the uh, inner city transport hub, which of course is linked in with uh, lots of rail with all these trains coming and going from the district now. So very exciting. There we go. Here's another, another train as well. Outstanding news. So happy to see all this busy. Really enjoying it. Anyway, we're getting distracted by trains. Let's head back over. Okay. So let's establish the positioning of exactly where we want uh, this sort of train station to sit around because this is definitely going to be kind of the heart and soul uh, of the town. So let's place it down and then we're going to use move it to drag it into position. So the bulk of the town is going to lie here at the foot of the hills. I'm also thinking with a couple of these little gullies here that are in the mountains is where we can do some like false reservoir action. So I think I'm going to be happy with that. Let's go ahead and move this station over this side. And then we're going to rotate it so it sits. So let me just get a sort of position in here. Where exactly do we want this to sit within the town? I think probably on the left of the rail. It's going to be appropriate, isn't it? There we go. Now we can just delete that rail. That lies underneath it. Um, you can also use network multi-tool as well to replace uh, the rail in the station. Uh, which we hopefully will do. There we go. It just wants to be unlocked, but I'll, I'll do that in the detail and time lapse. We're all about setting up frames and positionings here for the time being. Now let's go and find a two way road. Or a, a two lane, one way road is really what I want. Uh, so let's go for the plane here. And then I'd like to have a road snap to the guideline that services the train station. This will be a little one way road. We'll run that from node to node, and then we'll just do a simple little uh, three deep curve. Again, take an inspiration from how sort of our uh, entrances sit within uh, Phoenix itself. Well, not Phoenix, Arizona, I guess. Okay, that's pretty happy. And then we can maybe bring this through on a, a little straight road section, like with that anarchy on. And then hopefully a little bit of uh, move it and or node controller here uh, to just help us amend uh, those sections should be quite nice. There we go. So a little bit of node controller just makes that a little bit more palatable for us, doesn't it? I think I'm going to be happy with that. Not too bad. And then we can definitely carry on uh, this four lane road now uh, into town. So I'm more than happy to have rail crossings in here, the trains, and indeed the traffic that comes and goes from this area. We're not going to have a problem with a rail crossing. That's going to be good to me. And then we'll just keep this four lane road uh, going. Although again, sort of glancing back into uh, what is actually happening in Williams. I might actually come back in with our little yellow dashed American roads. And again, we know that we want this road to kind of run parallel with the rail. There's plenty of detail and opportunities here. Uh, there is one asset I'm very keen to try right off the bat. And this is going to be one of the seaside resort stuff at uh, the roadside diner. Very happy to have this in here. So again, we'll just place the building before we get back to setting up some frames because I want to see what it looks like. But yes, please. Right, this is made for this area. <laughs> really, really happy with that. 
Uh, we will be using some of the Seaside Resort stuff as well today. Some sort of old uh, Western Saloon sort of vibes, perhaps, okay? Tremendous. And then let's just go ahead and throw a little uh, car park uh, behind that. We'll have to be careful with a lot of the road markings here. I'm probably going to want to offset a lot of them. And then also hide the markings uh, come the end. There we go, okay, little rural train station. That has a little diner next to it. And then we can flow out into sort of an old western style tourist town now with some older residential frames knocking around off the back of it. That should be quite fun, I think. And it should maintain a very distant view over to downtown Isles as well. You really catch the skyline uh, driving back out of the town. This looks great. I'm really happy with that. So, unfortunately, it would appear that the functionality of unlocking the segments in a transport stop with network multi-tool isn't working yet with this new uh, content creator station. So, I'm going to have to use the vanilla tracks. Not the worst thing in the world, but... Ideally, I'd like it to be the North American Rail ones, but it's just going to have that weird blue tear in for the time being. So we will switch this out eventually for American Rail, but for right now, uh, we can make do with this, I think. Should be okay. Wonderful. Very nice having the trains flowing through the little desert town, isn't it? See if we can get an impression of this when it comes by here this time. There we go. <laughs> well, so cool. Very nice, everyone. Very nice indeed. Fantastic. Really, really quite fun to play with. Uh, cool. So let's go ahead and time lapse up some uh, just generic grid expansion here uh, up into the hills. Uh, and then we can start placing in some assets and uniques and uh, seeing what we can do with uh, this sort of theme. So we now have some suburban frames, again, taking inspiration from Williams. And this will hold a lot of our residential patterns, but uh, we'll get to that in a second. And what we'd like to do is start attracting tourists into the town. And what I'm envisioning is, you know, when this town was first founded, uh, way back when, and we actually have uh, permission from Few Candy uh, to sort of tie this in with uh, Siobhan Williams of Oridon. Uh, they actually settled out here in the town of Williams, uh, in Ilos, at the foot of the mountains. So... We got some like cross series law, I guess now. <laughs> so that's really cool. Uh, but however, what we are interested in doing is coming into unique buildings and playing with these. So I'm kind of thinking, you know, this was an old Western town at some point, and some of those buildings do still remain and now function as very kind of heavy tourist attractions. So I think I'm going to place down this one, the Ocean View Hotel, which I realise the name is a little bit redundant in this city. But then I'd also like to start piecing together some of these ones. Okay, now we do have Move It here, so uh, the ability to fuse is an option. But I'm not sure I do want to fuse all the time. Okay, if we can have this one here maybe and line it up with that one, you sort of see how we feel. And you can have to kind of ignore some of the fuse in here, makes the porch a little bit redundant, but I guess it, do, it still does work. And then we can have that there. It's going to have a really nice back onto it as well. We can do uh, a little bit of pathway detail in here uh, with a touch of service painter. Uh, we'll just bring this down and sort of span that out like that so it's like a well-trodden path if you like. Uh, there's probably a few more of these little red buildings that we can use as well. Uh, let's have a little look. There's one over here. There's a, what's this one? Coast Guard Heritage Museum. This seems like it'd be Sort of part of a little tourism town, right? We can maybe have that one there. Okay, I think I'm also going to grab both of these and just knock them back off the road a little bit here. Again, that same service painter idea can be applied uh, out the front of this one. 
Okay, and what I do would also like to happen is almost turn them into like, you know, back in the day, in 1864, for example, uh, they were micro estates within themselves. We're going to have a very similar idea here as well for uh, next week's Noobs Guide. I've been playing with these assets quite a lot, and I think we've got some nice ideas for them. And then just a little bit of service painter against that gravel path there. It's going to be welcome. And again, looking back into what the foliage is like uh, in a place like Williams, you know, we've seen a lot of these sort of taller, evergreen looking trees as we come up toward the mountain spaces. So I'm certainly happy to use a few uh, sort of Douglas firs around here if you like. I think some of the drier uh, looking gum trees would also be welcome if we can avoid snapping our neck as we look toward the sky. Yeah, something like that. Let's go ahead and get a few of these in. I don't think I'm averse to maybe some of these taller, thinner ones as well, perhaps. Okay, maybe up there. And even maybe a little bit of sort of drier grass uh, in the form of uh, our surface painter. Just a couple of gentlest little clicks around the building like that will go well. And we also have the rough and ready fire station. Uh, well, the more rural one, the historical fire station is the appropriate name, I'm sure. So we can use these in here as well. Alright, and how about that? What great work from... Uh, was it Jazz that did this one? I think it was, wasn't it? Revo did the modern mid-century one. Not quite sure, I'm getting my content creators mixed up. But what a fantastic little theme for a little sort of old western main street that has now been converted into like a big tourist trap. Uh, and these are exactly the sort of vibes we see in Williams, you know? So we can just use these little unique buildings now to create these little created spaces. Um, but however, I also want to have a look at some uh, of the commercial assets that we've used before, uh, specifically from King Leno's, because I do want some sort of older, I guess more modern commercial uh, within these spaces. We do have a couple of options available. We can play with some of these corner shapes. There's Ones over here, there's some of this like generic uh, corner looking commercial that's sort of quite rurally western, if you like. Uh, and then there's this whole kind of old town of, uh, old side of town collection, uh, sorry, uh, from King Lana where we can piece together these little assets. Okay, and make these sort of flush commercial fronts in the older western style. I think that's pretty special, isn't it? I'm really happy with that, I think. Yes, please. Uh, and then we can factor in a little bit of detail in, in here as well. Let's come in with a little dirt road pathway. Uh, we can bring some of this down here. We can do some more industrial detailing around the back perhaps. Maybe where they have uh, something of a sort of little delivery area. A little bit of car parking would do a tremendous job here for us. Why don't we have a little uh, look at that together. Let's go ahead and grab uh, a poorly maintained 22 meter number. Should be pretty acceptable. Uh, we'll just do uh, a really short stretch of this. A very small car parking. Uh, let's come in with some node controller there. Again, wonderful uh, little tip for uh, turning these into bends and then closing their offset. It's going to give us a very tiny, cute little baby car park. And again, we'll just hang out and do this one together while we discuss initial detail in palettes. But uh, it's very fun to get back into uh, a rural ILOS build. Uh, it really is. Some of our snapping, and maybe we can factor in uh, a little bit of disabled space up this side. Uh, if not, we just need to amend uh, what we were doing uh, over this end. Let's go ahead and delete those. And let's service paint that one up. Back to the road too. And then definitely, uh, mainly during the detail in time lapse, but uh, lots of our stain decals here uh, will do a tremendous job for helping. It's a hammer home, that more rural vibe, if we can find something that's appropriate for it. Some stains in too. Before you know it, you'll just sort of rough up a lot of that concrete and you can maybe bring in some of those sort of more arid uh, western sort of green belt patterns that we're playing with. It's definitely coming with some more service painter, but we just want, we want it to be a really light though. It's way too strong. Let's turn the brush size down a little bit. There we go. Yeah, that's more what we're after. And then again. 
some more evergreen trees around these parts. And then maybe we can have a little uh, sort of large playground over here, which will occupy you know, some of our residential spaces and of course provide desirability bonuses for them and whatnot. But we can get the general impression of what's going to happen here with our old looking commercial western street, right? Cool. So let's fuse some more historical stuff together and then we can have a little chat about what's going to happen with uh, the residential patterns here. So if you sort of hover through um, these seaside resort stuff, you'll kind of see that there's a few with the same colour scheme. Um, so we can they sort of work well being fused together if you like. So I'm going to have this one here. What's this one? This is a little green number. This is uh, the Breakers Hotel, was that? Yes, it was. Now the Breakers Hotel there on the corner. And then we've also got the Hotel Vespa. Which again is part of this kind of same green and white uh, theme. Where indeed it does look like it will fuse quite happily uh, into that porch next door, if you like. We can bring these down. And we've got this kind of like bigger... Sort of hotel complex developing now. Of course, if you're playing with not enough unique buildings, or not so unique buildings rather, um, you can really just fuse endless amounts of these together, but I'm trying to keep it variated at least a little bit. Uh, okay, so what's this one here? Let's go for the uh, Hotel Aldean. Again, let's just leave a little bit of a, a pathway through here. Again, just where it perhaps was an older estate, and you know there was room here for uh, hitching your horse back in the day. Okay, I was, I've never been to sort of the the old Wild West in America. I would love to visit one day, though. It's a very uh, sort of historically interesting part of the world, I suppose. Let's get some more of those little conifer numbers down again, too. Weird playing with conifers in a desert biome, but <laughs> we're going to have to get used to it for uh, the town of Williams, I'm afraid. Another little live oak up on the corner there. And just little bits of surface painter detailing will help bring all this to life a little bit. Just where we see those stairs. Okay. Perhaps some fancier bushes as well. You know, let's not forget that these are really kind of old historical properties. They would be well maintained and probably a little bit landscaped, you would imagine. So I don't think some shorter regular bush would be... Uh, totally unwelcome from a build like this either. Okay. But how do we feel about that? It's a very cool way of using these seaside resort assets. But I think that we can get away with it. Can't we? Huge fan of this along here. <laughs> this is really cool. Yes. Yes, please, everyone. So, it might not be totally historically accurate. I'm not a Western expert, but... Hopefully we're sort of nailing a vibe here. Uh, I'd also like to grab uh, the Rump Motel as well. It's an asset we've used before. Here we go. Yes, this is it. Yeah, I just like that there. So people have a place to stay. Uh, we can also use some of the other motels. Uh, for which we do have a couple of options from the content creator pack. Uh, so let's see what's available. There's sort of three main ones, isn't there? So there's this one here. Which is the Motel Palm Springs. I think this one would be quite nice to have. Uh, probably along the main street, if not perhaps a little bit further down. Maybe we can place in sort of two of these. Let's go for one there. We can maybe have a car park run through the middle, which I think might be quite a nice little aesthetic. So we'll stick with those uh, poorly maintained numbers. And then let's go ahead and grab... This one again, we can maybe orientate it slightly differently this time. Let's have it sat there. Probably gravel surface painter here. Don't really want vast amounts of concrete. So if we were to gravel paint all this. Bearing in mind we will lose perhaps a little bit of the realism around those parking spaces in the motel itself. But it should do us a job. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a little 8x2 number. We'll drop this uh, pretty much in the middle. That's going to be nice and happy. And then again, some more of that tree palette. Might be worth even setting up a new forest brush for uh, this sort of tree design with all these Douglas firs. Uh, much more evergreen 
style trees. Place to feed them around. Before we know it, now we've just got this kind of old, uh, dry desert looking complex. I think a little bit of Ilos dry belt might also be welcome. Uh, if we turn up our intensity here. There we go. Let's just have them uh, through this space. Just the occasional little one, nothing major. Okay, space already occupied. Uh, we should be alright without collision on there. And now we can just develop a little sort of older looking, more rural motel complex. And that is part of the town of Williams. Oh, it was very appropriate here when you're looking at Palm Springs here too, doesn't it? That is a vibe. <laughs> really is. Very happy with that. Very happy. What a wonderful little theme to play with everyone. I'd sit here and just dawdle at all these little buildings. <laughs> it's very cool. Uh, let's have a little look at the police station now as well. We do have the historical police station. I guess we can just have this on the corner up here. That's going to be mostly okay, I think. Cool. So you get the kind of general idea with how our main street is going to develop. Uh, these seaside resort assets are a really tremendous design. Uh, and there is actually, you know, things like the University City content creator stuff. Um, a lot of these assets will work nicely uh, for sort of creating more touristic themes. You know, maybe we can get a couple of little bars going along here, piecing all these little like brickwork buildings together from the pack. And um, certainly things like ice cream parlors uh, from the uh, Art Deco pack would do tremendously well here too. Although I think we'll give them a little bit of a uh, sort of car park design out front. But you get the idea, hopefully. Let's go ahead and merge these two together. And I think a little bit more uh, Ilos Dry Belt uh, is also going to be welcome uh, through these spaces too. Uh, bear in mind we do actually have a lot of open desert space in and around the buildings in Williams, Arizona. So that's something we want to respect as well. That forest brush is way too thick actually. Let me just amend that. Let's bring the strength down. There we go. That's more what we want. But we can already get an impression of what sort of town this is, right? I hope it's sort of coming into its own little theme here. I hope it is. Cool, let's have a look at some residential stuff now. Cannot stop watching the trains here. Now I know how train spotters must feel. Just, oh, I love this train station. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, very happy guys. It's a really nice break building from the relentless metropolis of the insanity of the Margrid and downtown Phoenix inspiration. It's, uh, it's fun doing this. You guys okay? Just stealing across the junction there. That was a dangerous move, but... There we go. So there is people using the train station now. This is good. The AI uh, is picking this up as a route in and out of town. I've also uh, think I want to disallow any intercity trains from coming down this way. Uh, I just don't think they'd really stop here. They'd take them into downtown Ilos first uh, and then they can use the train station to uh, move around the rest of the map. And of course we're not going to have metro out here either. But what I would like to talk about now is uh, the use of our uh, single story tag. So I have used find it to tag all of our assets with this single story uh, tag. And when I filter for low density residential, um, I now just have a collection of assets here that are all uh, single story. That would be appropriate for a suburb like this. Uh, it's a really handy way to do it. And then once we do have all our selected assets in, and we just want to do uh, Alt and V, and then it will randomly select one of these. Uh, this sort of find it technique has been uh, sweeping the city's community pretty heavily as recent times. A uh, big shout to the infrastructurists for uh, showcasing this trick. It makes it immensely helpful to place suburbia uh, in sort of random patterns like this. Okay, cool. So let's start placing some down. I think I would like to leave a little bit of a border between sort of the commercial strip of the town and then where the residences are. We can fill it with car parking or we can do just some general green belt detailing. Uh, but I would like to start my houses from here. So let's time lapse this up and then we can plop down a whole bunch of different types of suburb.
go. We now plop down a bunch of our selected houses using that tag system. And then we now have this really cute kind of rural looking uh, appropriate asset suburbia. Some swing sets out here, some back gardens that have been made with the fencing. We can get a real sense of like rural desert America just by moving through the little side streets here. And down here onto some commercial, onto sort of the older western looking buildings that have been here for many millennia. It all bleeds back into this suburbia. A very, very fun theme to play with, <laughs> if I haven't actually mentioned that already today. Cool. So, of course, these guys are going to want a high school and whatnot. Let's have a little look at our elementary stuff. Also got high school here as well. So, you're about on the threshold of where we'll need a new one. Uh, so, let's see what we can do. So, we do have a couple of these little suburban high schools, which I think would be the most appropriate, I think. We'll have our high school positioned here. It can sit just against the road. And we'll then draw in, of course, a little uh, supplementary uh, car park for people to arrive here. And we could possibly wrap it around the back. That actually might not be a bad idea. Uh, again, we're going to stick in with the uh, 22 meter poly maintain lots. And if we can do 15 there. Let's turn off node snapping because I'd like to do unit of 10. Again, that's going to be great for a little bit of node controller work on the corner to turn that into a bend. And that's fully shut the offset together. Again, these frames can break out and then why don't we throw in, again, just seeing what's around schools uh, in Google Earth is major for this. Uh, I think I'm feeling a little bit of baseball core action to sit here, perhaps. And then we can also surface paint it just to get rid of uh, all those little sprites that come through. And I think I probably will enjoy the gravel texture here uh, quite a bit. Of course, once it's detailed up with some forest brush, possibly again bring in some of those uh, taller evergreen looking numbers. I don't think anyone's going to be totally averse to it. I'm slowly warming to them, that has to be said. Uh, the sort of mountain evergreen desert vibe is... Something to enjoy, I think. It's not something we get to play with too often in cities. But uh, I think we're going to have a nice time. Cool. So now we can just have a little high school complex. We will, of course, tidy up uh, any surface painter inconsistencies eventually. But that's not a bad little facility, is it? I don't think. It's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, we could also tether on a elementary school onto this as well. Uh, we do have the American Elementary here, but I think what we will do is actually do uh, a separate school campus, perhaps this side of the rail tracks, uh, with a uh, running field there as well. Track and field is the word I'm looking for. Okay, and then I think a little bit of that surface painter again. Really don't want to get sort of too much heavy infrastructure around here. I think that can be uh, part of the sort of issue that ends up killing a lot of rural builds as you just become too dense out of almost habit I suppose from playing regular cities. Let's get a few more of these darker sort of dry looking grasses around. You could also use fertile land for this too. It would achieve a sort of similar dried parched grass sort of effect. And then let's just have uh, a little meandering pathway here that comes back up to that section. We'll also do something similar here as well just so it becomes a walkable space. And then we can just use move it now uh, if we want to come ahead and just bring in uh, some more of those patterns. Let's go ahead and find a 10 by 10 block that's filled out. Uh, this one here is perfect. We can copy and paste that. Uh, we can then just give it a little 180 rotate and then place it in here. And then before we know it, we then have those uh, duplicated residential patterns available to us to uh, quickly fill out that suburban frame. To help surround the high school with houses, which is what we see again in Williamson. So I think I'm happy with that. Nice little cute merging uh, into some high school facilities for the town. Amazing. Very nice. <laughs> it's really cool. Um, I'm dying for a gas station uh, to sit on the corner here, actually. Uh, we could go for one of the big boy Costco ones, but that's not the right vibe, is it? Uh, we could get a shell or a BP ploppable. Love that in there. Yeah, I'm just I'm in the mood for a gas station on the corner of the town. Although do I want it here? 
No, I think we'll have it there. Uh, there's one more thing that we saw in uh, Arizona that I'd like to bring into today's build uh, before we look at detailing it all up with more of this evergreen palette and a bit more uh, historical building fusing. Uh, and this is to come in with a reservoir that feeds the town. Of course, it's all hypothetical. This is very much an aesthetic addition to the build, but I'd like to try it nonetheless. So let's come into some of our keys. Uh, we can have a look. Which one we want. I think we're going to go for a simple seawall fenceless. And if we were to just draw the key across this boundary here. I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, all the nodes of this. Grab the whole thing. And I like to just sink it down so it's sort of flush with the ground as to where I want it to rest. About there. Looks like we're going to get a little bit of dimensional tearing that can be amended. And then we'll just use our water source tool uh, to fill up a little reservoir here just to the point where it isn't flooding. And then I definitely think a little rural dirt road here. Possibly go for the mud dirt road or maybe we'll use that as we get closer to the reservoir like you know the ground is actually getting wetter. So we can have that there but yeah it's not the right vibe for right now. Uh, yes, and that's just come through here. Let's uh, turn on collision again too. And then I just like it to meander up the hill. Probably having the um, topography overlay on here as well is going to be helpful. Uh, if we can find it, there we go. Yeah, just sort of meander up these slopes here uh, toward the reservoir where you would imagine there's some kind of maintenance facility or a little bit of a maintenance shed where the workers of the reservoir or people that maintain it will uh, come in to do something here. And a little bit of network multi-slope I think is going to be more than welcome. Now uh, if we set that slope mode all the way down to here. There we go. And then of course it looks horrific but we've got uh, extra landscaping tools uh, to the rescue where we can just have a little bit of softened terrain. Bring some rocks in here as well if we like. Yeah, and then I'll just soften all this out as it comes up. Give it a swift forest brush. There we go. Bit of manscaping. And everyone should be happy here, I think. Didn't I just turn collision off? I thought I did. Not on, I suppose. Cool. And then there's definitely some little bits of detailing uh, that can be done here with, you know, those sort of admin vibes that we talked about. And that will just give us a little reservoir that sits in the mountain that is feeding uh, the town of Williams down here. I'm a huge fan of that. <laughs> that has to be said, a huge fan. But that just runs straight down Main Street here. Very nice, very nice. Um, speaking of water towers, I don't think it may be rude to actually include a water tower uh, within the town itself. Um, we are, of course, playing with 81 tiles now, so uh, we don't need the water pipe, but I'm sure we do uh, need water availability. Yes, we do. It's uh, coming towards the yellow. So that should be fairly nice, I think. Look at that out there, too. So good. <laughs> I love building in these rural themes. Especially in like, the, the dry desert west as well. Uh, it's really tremendous. Okay, so let's go for some normal behavior with the dirt road. Or dirt path, rather. Let's snap into the grid. I'd like to come up by uh, 6 meters is usually a sensible height to clear a rail track, I think, isn't it? Yeah, something like that. And then we can have this come down uh, into the town. Okay, where again we can do some more commercial detailing here uh, during our detailing time map. So I also think in Williams there is actually a very small uh, little... Oh my word! Hello? Hello everyone. People really want to come over to Williams, <laughs> holy crap. Look at that. Tremendous. So many people. I would love for you to use my walking pathway. They must have just come from... Yeah, because this is disallowing in a, uh, a intercity trains, yeah. That's crazy. It's very busy. I'm guessing that's just because of the unique buildings that are here. Yeah, these are all getting visitors per week. They're all unique buildings. Very interesting. 
nice and busy though. <laughs> Look at the super, super busy tourist town. Very nice, very happy with that. But yes, we can have some uh, elevated walking infrastructure over here. Uh, and then perhaps a little bit of that Ilos dry belt would be welcome. Uh, with some of that grass painting in as well. Again, just really light splatterings of it, nothing too intense. I do want that sort of dry, uh, parched grass look, if you like, which we can achieve. So there's one more little feature that I'd like to add before we move into a detour in time lapse today. Uh, and this is going to be the addition of a cute little church. So we're going to have this here, I'm just going to knock it back a little bit. Uh, and then we're going to use some of our death care graveyards, uh, these ones here, realistic working cemeteries, uh, to have a realistic working cemetery, essentially, right? Exactly what it says on the tin. Let's have two here. And then we can knock them back onto each other. A bit right there as well. These are great little assets, these working cemeteries. Uh, really quite splendid. And then let's go ahead and get a little bit of chain link fencing, perhaps. Let's go for a linear fence fill. Let's have linear fence fill on. So they are going to spawn out of the side there, which I'm happy with. But we're going to do a little bit of building spawn points, I think. So they just go to a different place. Okay, no we won't. Because it would appear that the graveyards don't actually work with spawn points. Okay. So with that in mind then, I think we will just leave a little frontage of the graveyard open and then separate it from the motel. Uh, but we can generally get a little churchyard in here as part of the old town along the main street. I think I'm going to be pretty happy with that. Okay, and then with these roads I think uh, it might be worth actually bringing this road out of town and maybe having a little simple trumpet slip system here. We could do that for some extra road connectivity and then I think with the main street over this side again as well I'm going to come in with uh, these little two lane country roads here. These are really nice. We actually use these to get out to the area. So if we can just have them essentially just meander all the way through the desert. Might actually take these up onto a little bridge connection here actually that comes out of the town from this one and then you just got a little another desert country road where we can perhaps get some parallel uh, rail and road action uh, passing through the desert which should lead to some very nice uh, nature reserve fencing detailed opportunity shouldn't it cool let's give this a little bit of a forest brush too but otherwise guys that does feel like a good place for a detailed time lapse uh, really happy with today's theme it's incredible <laughs> really fun to play with I'm going to carry on placing in some more commercial units so we generate this sort of vibe. Uh, plenty of car parking along here as well. Again, taking ideas from how things are laid out uh, in and around real life Arizona. Alongside some more commercial detailing and general kind of tourist hotspots where you can imagine all the tourists are coming in to uh, Williams to enjoy these old school buildings, get a drink and stay in the hotel while they're here. Okay. Uh, also develop a little bit of frontage out here, maybe some benches, a few park assets. And that indeed may be another school design if we need it. Probably just drop in an elementary uh, with a track and field uh, a little bit. And then bring in all the desert over that we've lost. And uh, create a new evergreen uh, tree brush that can be brought in for this side of the town. And probably create some heavy pine forest that flows off the mountain. Again, like we see in Williams. Can't believe how busy this train station is. And then the fact that they're all using this way too really thought they'd prefer to come and grab the elevated pathway here, but would appear not. But it's getting used, but we can't really complain. Otherwise, let's detail uh, the second of Ilos' rural towns, and then we'll be right back.
Okay guys, so we are ready for a detailing review. It should be noted though that this old man is trekking through the desert to get to Williams. <laughs> it really is. Uh, the place to be, so to speak. There he goes in his little lemon shorts. Okay, so let's have a detailing review, shall we? So down this country road we have brought in some power lines uh, alongside reinstating uh, that desert overgrowth and desert forest, I guess, that we see. Across all the empty vistas of Ilos as we come into the town, uh, where we are greeted with a little elementary school design. I uh, also set up a new desert evergreen forest brush. Uh, again, taking inspiration from what foliage is actually sat around Williamson in Arizona. And uh, where it comes into uh, a little bit more uh, residential buildings, where we also have a little visitor center uh, directly outside of the train station here. Uh, also a little bit of surface painter just where they're actually entering the station themselves. And then it all backs up onto the town now with our older style buildings. We have the car parks behind. And uh, this is, again, I'm saying this every week now. <laughs> this is my new favorite area of Ilos. Uh, what a wonderful theme to play with um, and perfect timing for these seaside resort assets to come out. And they've made a wonderful difference to the kind of the historical vibe that we're trying to generate in Williams. You know, it's not downtown metropolitan Ilos. It's out in the sticks. It's very easily accessible by train. So we come through here where we have some uh, more uh, college assets and a little bit of art deco through here too. Uh, alongside a touch of chain link fencing uh, in and around with some green belt. Uh, further down this side of the street next to the hotel we've dropped in a community pool. Uh, just so we can sort of see some people actually swimming. Uh, like she is over here. Tremendous. Uh, and then we also dropped in a couple of new uh, historical assets over this side. Uh, where we've got one of the old faithful sort of historical statues here, which uh, works really nicely uh, in and around the suburb. And then, again, looking back into uh, Williams, there is a lot of open, sort of dried, parched grass space here. So trying to leave a little bit of that uh, in and around the town. Uh, as to where we can afford it, things like this, okay? It's all really fun to play with. And the path networks are getting used as well. See this little old lady coming through? It uh, looks like she's wearing one of those like flower necklace things that they get in Hawaii. I'm not sure what the name is. But she's having a nice time, it would appear. Uh, and then we come back onto the main street again where we've got that diner and uh, the car park. And I did actually have a look in the street view. Um, there is no fencing between um, the railroad and the town in Williams. It is just very much you can walk onto the tracks if you like. It's kind of just left uh, up to you if that's what you want to do. But of course you wouldn't want to do that. Uh, do we come back into uh, some more refusable assets which we had a look during the episode? Uh, and this all comes back now, bleeds into just open desert space again. Uh, as we leave uh, Williams down a very straight, narrow, super deserty looking country road. Uh, that actually heads back to the highway in a little uh, trumpet system. Uh, the same design that we did uh, during uh, the Noob's Guide this week. Uh, just so there's highway access. Rather than them having to go all the way back through town and you know, force their way through this interchange over here. Uh, then indeed they can just hop over uh, from this side. So just happy little uh, connectivity. And this comes over and then we get that very distinct desert -y vibe, don't we? So then we'll head up into the mountains where we are encountering this um, evergreen palette, if you like. Where it's a very distinct vibe and I think I'm on board with it. It did take a while to get used to. But uh, this is what we see in Williams, you know, we're higher in the mountains here, the climate's a little cooler. So these trees can sort of grow in and around here. Uh, and then we use a little bit of intersection marking tool to bring a nature reserve fence all the way up this country road, which then arrives at a little bit uh, of fused uh, generic industry, uh, which I've left here as sort of admin for the reservoir, if you like. Okay, you can maybe pretend these are pumps and there's maintenance facilities and tools repair jobs deliveries can also happen here if something needs to happen to the reservoir and you notice the people in the town they just run this reservoir here and how about this <laughs> for a little deserty mountain country dirt road yes please everyone with that view back to uh, ilos as well let's have a little uh, nighttime sample shall we of the the view from here Without spoiling too much for the cinematics, of course. Well, there we go. There is the view uh, over Williams across the downtown Ilos. And what a wonderful little fun 
at Rural Project this has been. Just so tremendously happy with it all. A really neat style and just can't stress how much of a difference those uh, little assets have made from the Seaside Resorts pack. And uh, just the aesthetic of the trains coming and going uh, from this old sort of station is very much my vibe. But otherwise, guys, that is going to do it for today. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, likes, comments, and shares below really do help me out. Equally as much if you haven't enjoyed it, then please feel free to leave me a dislike as well. Do let me know if you think I've excluded any assets that might have worked nicely within this kind of older western or wild west sort of town. Uh, with lots of tourists, lots of trains coming in. So, yeah, let me know if you think anything else would work here. But I'm really happy with it. It's a really creative use of those seaside resorts. And we've managed to get them in Ilos. Uh, we will also be using them in Noob's Guide uh, next week for kind of a tropical estate looking build, which I'm very much looking forward to getting involved with. So plenty more vanilla inspiration coming for those looking to use the Seaside Resort stuff as well. Uh, please do hang around for some very chill cinematics and what I'm sure will be uh, a very wonderful view over to the nighttime skyline back where all the infrastructure actually is. But otherwise, I will shut up and I will leave it there. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day.